another exciting week on The Real. For those tuning in, my name remains Linda. I'm your local host every week trying to talk to you about the latest movies that you can watch, whether it's Netflix or the cinema. So this week, I'm talking about a brand new movie that got released a few weeks ago into the cinema called The Hitsman's Bodyguard's Wife. So if you've been following through the series with Ryan and Samuel L. Jackson, you would have seen it's been The Hitsman's Bodyguard, but this time around, there's kind of a twist and then we're adding his wife. Make sure you stay with me this week while I talk about this latest cinema movie called The Hitsman's Bodyguard's Wife. He has had a tremendous year. Michael Price is the bodyguard of the year. Woo! Is he a relative of yours? God, no. Darius Kincaid's a hitman wanted for like a zillion murders around the world. And how often do you have this dream? Just once. Well, that's not a too. night. Right. I'm thinking you need to forget bodyguarding. Welcome back, everyone. You're tuning in as always to The Real. And I'm your noble host, Linda, this week on The Hitman's Wife Bodyguard. So we were super excited again to see Samuel L. Jackson back again in this new movie called The Hitman's Wife Bodyguard. And I was happy to see Ryan. It's been a while for a few years. We hadn't seen any of their movies, so they decided to add a twist. So let me tell you a bit about the story. So Samuel and his lovely wife, of course, Sonia, decided to get married and go on a honeymoon that they've been hoping that they would go for for years. And then they get into the hotel and then try to check in. And you know how this whole, I'm on my own, I'm trying to live my life state, JJ, and start my family, and then trouble comes to meet you when you're on. That's exactly what happened in this edition. He was just trying to live a good life with his new wife, Sonia, and then start a family. And then all of a sudden, when he decides to go do something, some bad guys come, pick him up, and that's where the action starts, as always. So he sends a message to Sonia, please call someone to come and help us. And when she sends the message, guess who receives it? Of course, Ryan, his worst enemy. So you know they've always been having a fight, but he feels like Ryan wanted to kill him. And Ryan, the good guy that he always is, even though he was on leave and on a break, because he had lost his license, decided... Well, let me go help them out. This was when the action started. He had to work with Sonia, fight all the bad guys, try to get to Samuel, try to make sure they find him. He's alive. It was just fight, fight, fight. But it was good. Now, it was, um, you know, those kind of movies that are action and also comedy. So you're having fun, they're shooting, and then somebody's cracking you up by saying something really funny. Yes, typical kind of movie. It was nice. I enjoyed the action. That's good, you know, from start to finish, and you know how it ends, and everyone wants to go their own way, just typical storyline, and it always ends well. So it's good to see that everything is good. So I'll take a pause, and you can go check it out, and then we can come back and discuss it. Okay, so to what I liked, I like the fact that it was an action comedy, it was okay. I went in with a very open mind. You know, sometimes when you go into your expectations really high, you get to be cut short, you know. So I went in very low expectation. I had to even struggle to see before it was taken all the cinema. So I didn't see brand new the first week because I heard it was just there and nothing extraordinary or fantastic. I tried to see the best ones first and then see the others later. So it was okay. So to my verdict, I'll just score the movie a 6.5. A lot of people expected so much, you know, and that's why they were kind of angry. I think the movie is good. It's in between a 6.5 and a 7. As always, I get to dangle between two sides when I'm trying to be nice and not be very wicked. But I like the action. I like the fact that it's coming the um, storyline. Just simple, basic as always. Costumes and all that simple. But it was okay. So I love happy endings. So maybe that's why I'm a bit biased towards this movie. So I'll take a pause here, as always. Do not judge me, please. This is just my verdict and my review. And if you feel otherwise, you know, I always say that you can always leave us a comment, write something on our wall or our page and tell us what you think, if you liked it or not, if you like my review. You can always criticize whatever I say. Don't forget, this is just my review. So I come your way again, I'll always read. Follow us across our social media at MyMovieViewNG. And leave us a comment or two. As always, I will make sure that I bring you nice reviews so that you know which movie to watch. Save you the time and the stress. So I come here again. Thank you always for listening. Bye for now. Do I know you? The mafia took my husband. Kill them. We have to go get him. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm not getting involved in this. I'm under strict psychological orders. My I promised my therapist no bodyguard. That means no guns, no killing, and no blood. What is he doing here? Are you using pepper spray? I'm on sabbatical. 
Oh my god, a child would be so lucky to have you as its host. <laughs>